Go. All right, I get a lot of questions on twist rates versus bullet weights. So I'm gonna do a little test. This one here is a 20 inch, one and eight twist match barrel. And I'm gonna start off shooting 77 grain uh, Sierra Match Kings, and then 55 grain. If you zoom in here, you can see him. He's come walking up. There's the 55 grain V Max, and then here's the 50 grain Z Max, the zombie ammo. So we'll have a little bit of spread, and then we'll look on the uh, target system down here. We got the bullseye target manager, so we're just gonna click new shot after every three, so you should, you'll see the group. Not necessarily zeroed in perfectly for all of them, but you'll get the idea. Ready? Yep. Alright, so I can't quite get 200 yards here, so we're at like 185 yards. And then I'll just come down to here and hit new shot. And so if you zoom in right there, you'll see I'm shooting at the bottom left one. That's with the 77 grain ammo. It's so not bad. Still a decent ass group, I guess, for this far. All right, so now I'm gonna shoot those 55 grain uh, V-Max, same barrel here. We'll just use a little different target. New shot. So if you zoom in, say we're shooting the one above it. So about the same. A little over an inch. So for almost 200 yards, it is what it is. <clears throat> okay, last but not least, I'm gonna shoot the 50 grain uh, Z-Max. Same thing. Come down here, hit new shot. So there I'm shooting at the target in the middle. Kind of hustled along on them, but still you can get the idea. So still well within the capabilities of me shooting off a bipod and a shaky ass table. All right, you see that? Yep. So that's with a, uh, a one and eight twist barrel. So we're going to take this off, and now I'm going to shoot a, uh, a 1 and 9 twist. Still a 20 inch. And then we're still going to go off the bipod, try and keep everything about the same same. And we'll try and do the same test. So first, I'm going to start off with uh, 77 grain hollow point boat tail. Now this is a 1 in 9 twist 20 inch gun. Come down here, hit new shot, and you see right here, 
there's that group just on the corner of the right. So I'm just on the verge of having uh, probably unstable bullets there with the 177, or the 77 grain, I mean. So now we'll shoot uh, three of these VMAX 55 grain through the 1 and 9. here hit new shot so now you see how they're starting to stabilize got a nice round group the group before was not so awesome because 77s are just a little bit too heavy for a one and nine twist but that group's pretty good so this gun's a pretty known commodity shooting uh, 55 grain ammo so here's the 50 grain uh, Z Max uh, you see them there little green tip bastards these are pretty good round too. I do shoot a lot of coyotes with these. A few more. We'll shoot a five shot group since it's the last one. Ricky Tinky. So, hit uh, show shot, whoops, right there, show shot. So there's that five shot group with the 50 grain. Like I said, kind of hustling on, but still pretty good. And then a nice round group, which that also helps. So from my super scientific uh, synopsis of shoot, we're shooting off of this nice wobbly table. Like I said, about 180, 190 yards. You know, 1 to 9, 50 grain, 55 grain, 62 grain, life is pretty good. Even the 69 grain I stuff I've had good accuracy with. But the 77 grain is probably just a little outside the realm. Uh, so then it's good to go to a 1 and 8 twist when you're shooting the heavier stuff. But the 1 and 8 still shoots the 50 and 55 grain just fine. So there's my little twist rate video for you. Excellent.